There is a major flaw in the Canon R7 firmware, which is affecting the way the IBIS in this camera works. I reported this to Canon about eight months ago. I know a number of other users have also reported this to Canon. If you go on the forums, you'll see pages and pages of people talking about problems with the R7 firmware or with the R7 IBIS system. And I'm gonna go through one very specific problem that I'm having that I've told Canon about, which should be easily fixable, but they have done nothing about it to date. In the R7, you have the ability to use a manual or vintage or dumb lens, a lens that doesn't send any information through to the camera. In the case that you're using a lens like this, and in this case, I've got an 85 millimeter cinema lens, you go into the menu system of the camera and you tell it what the focal length is of the lens. In this case, I just go in and I tell it it's an 85 millimeter lens. That gives the camera the information it needs to operate the IBIS system so it works efficiently and properly with the length of lens that you've got on the camera. What is happening is when you go in, in this case, 85 millimeter lens, and I put 85 millimeters into the camera, I can then go and shoot video and the IBIS works perfectly. It's smooth, it's exactly like you would expect it to perform, and it performs, I would say, on par with any lens that is a, a Canon lens or a lens that is actually reporting to the camera body that focal length information that it needs. So it's working perfectly. But as soon as you turn the camera off and then you turn the camera back on, the IBIS is no longer working in the same way that it was when you had first gone in there and put that information in. Now, interestingly, it is still kind of working. It's not as bad as if the IBIS system had been turned off completely. It's just not working the way it was when you put that initial value of 85 millimeters in there. So to work around this, what you have to do is go back into the menu system, change it to 86 or 87, something like that, then back out of the menu, go back into the menu, change it back to 85, and then go shoot. And you'll find, once again, it'll be perfectly smooth for that shot. But as soon as you turn the camera off and turn it back on, the IBIS system doesn't work the way it was when you first put that information in. And it's almost as if it defaults to some other value, because as I said, if I compare the turning the camera back on and it's got the saved information that it's using, not the fresh information that I've just put in. If it's using that saved information, it does seem to stabilize it a little bit, but not as well as it did when I first put the information in there. So this is clear that this IBIS can work with these lenses and the way this value works, but when you turn the camera off and turn it back on, it appears to be, I'm guessing, sort of using some other value. Because when I went through the same test with a 50 millimeter lens, it wasn't as good as when I freshly put the information in after I turned it off and turned it back on. That stabilization did still seem to be worse, but it wasn't as bad as what the 85 millimeters is. So I'm guessing it's defaulting to some value which is closer to 50 millimeters. Now this is gonna affect you if you're shooting with cinema lenses, it's gonna affect you if you're shooting with vintage lenses, and particularly for me, one of the great uses I see out of the Canon R7 camera is the fact that it has an IBIS system in it. You can program that value in. You can then use your C-log footage to shoot some really amazing handheld stuff and do some pretty high level cinematography with this lens. And I think that just makes this an amazing run and gun cinema setup but it totally doesn't work if you have to go in and do this crazy workaround every time you're doing a shot. That just isn't going to work. So it's obvious that this can work for these lenses, but Canon has done nothing about it and they claim it is not a known issue even though the forums are full of people talking about it and even though myself and many other people have reported the issue. This leads me to a second question. We all know that the R7 IBIS system does not work well with a lot of adapted third-party lenses or Canon EF and EFS lenses. Interestingly, when I've talked to Canon about this, they have said that they just aren't supporting the adapted lenses for IBIS. They don't guarantee they're going to work very well. The problem is, I think there's a good chance that these lenses, whether they be Canon's own lenses or third-party lenses, probably could work well. 
But when you see that they don't even have the most basic function of just saving the focal length and being able to turn the camera on and off with these dumb lenses on, I'm guessing that they haven't done any further research or looked into any of the problems reported on any of these other lenses. It's possible that all of these things could be resolved, but Canon doesn't have any interest in doing it. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I will say when I did talk to the support desk, the one thing that they said is we don't support third-party lenses. And when I said, I've got a third-party lens, but it is a dumb lens, it sends no information. It's just an 85 millimeter lens. Also, it works when I first put the information off and turn it off and turn it back on. It doesn't work. The Canon support people blamed the lens. They said that was the lens's fault. And then when I said, well, what about all the problems with the EF and EFS lenses? They said, we don't guarantee that the IBIS works with those lenses. So at this stage, it appears that Canon has absolutely no interest in resolving issues with this camera unless it's specifically related to their new RF lenses, which are more expensive and new. So I find that incredibly disappointing and I'm hoping that some viewers out there can report the same problem I have or somebody up the food chain at Canon gets this message and really comes to the party and tries to support all the people who have bought this R7 and are super excited about it, but have really been let down by the Canon support network. Anyways, let me know down below if you're having any IBIS problems with the camera. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to keep trying to push Canon and hopefully get a result for myself and all the other R7 users out there.